Hi, and welcome back to Rediscovering RC. My personal journey as I venture back into the world of RC and RC racing after an almost 20 year hiatus. I'm your host Julio, and in today's special selfie stick edition, I finally took advantage of the long weekend to build my TLR 22X4 four wheel drive buggy. This is really the first time that I really had a chance to build it since I got the kit a little over a month ago. So I decided to do something different this time around. I actually recorded myself building it from A to Z, uh, although technical difficulties did prevent me from capturing the building of the shock, so I apologize for that. It was really uh, unavoidable. But in either case, I've recorded the rest of the build. I also took advantage to, uh, since I I'm installing the Spectrum 6240RX uh, receiver, I went ahead and installed the 22X4 mount for it along with the metal top case with it. I recorded that separately, so I, you know, I know there's been some questions out there online about it. I figured I may as well just record the process uh, as an educational venture for anyone that might be curious about it. So either case, um, I hope you enjoy the, the build videos. I'll probably break it up into a couple of parts. I will stop it from time to time, again, to share my thoughts as I was thinking out loud. And I'll follow up soon with a full build notes uh, episode. So take care. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
All right, so that concludes bag A. Um, overall, it was pretty easy. I did have fumble a little bit with that second differential. I considered putting black grease on the on the gasket, but uh, on second thought, I decided, okay, let's see how it is. I know some people have had uh, issues with slight leakage. I did uh, tighten the gears uh, in the order specified by the manual here, the proper one, two, three, four cross tightening. Uh, went through them twice, so hopefully they won't, uh, you know, they won't cause me any issues. I also tried to grab the gear while tightening it as opposed to grabbing the housing. So maybe that'll be a difference as well. In either case, this, uh, this car is going to sit for a little bit. I'll have to keep an eye on it before I take it out to the track. So on to bag B. Okay, we are on now on bag B, which is going to be the center slipper. So here we go.
Okay, that completes bag B, which was the slipper differential. Had a little bit of difficulty understanding the instructions, but after looking it over a couple of times, I was able to figure out. The big thing was really, um, you know, getting this aligned. It is a little tight. I mean, I tried to back thread a little bit to make sure that I'm not uh, cross threading or anything, but even then it was a little bit tight getting it down to where I needed it to go. In either case, uh, again, once I got through those issues, I was able to assemble it with no problem. And we are on to bag C.